Storm Tracker weather team has been looking at what we might expect for this winter's forecast. Well, today is the day we're going to make our official winter outlook. Now, when Bruce, Larry, and I first set out to uh, put together this winter weather outlook, the first thing we looked at is what happened last year. Last January, we got 30.7 inches of snow. That's just below the amount of snow we would receive here in Toledo for the whole winter season. It was the coldest January since 1994. Once we got into late December and January, the jet stream patterns set up over Ohio such that storm systems kept coming over the same area. While the jet stream could influence our forecasts again this year, the chances are less likely due to the El Nino effect. El Nino is a condition of the uh, water temperature out in the uh, central Pacific Ocean. When the water temperatures are warmer than average, uh, we describe it as an El Nino condition. Though people may not be able to perceive a huge temperature difference, the expected El Nino conditions would result in a warmer winter than usual. What it means is probably a few less storm systems than what we normally get and a few less cold Arctic outbreaks than what we normally get. The amount of shoveling we have to endure may not be quite as bad this year. Both the National Weather Service and the Old Farmer's Almanac agree it's going to be a drier than normal winter. We expect generally a drier winter than average uh, with less snowfall. AccuWeather, another company that touted their long-range forecast, predicts the Toledo area will experience a bone-chilling winter with normal to above normal snowfall. That's somewhat in line with the weather almanac, but differs from the National Weather Service. Long-range predictions for winter are extremely difficult to do. So clearly the wild card in all of this is this El Nino. And I do think that the El Nino pattern will persist through the winter and be a minor, a minor to moderate event. I think temperatures for the winter will be near to uh, above normal. I agree with the National Weather Service that the weather, as well as the Weather Almanac that the El Nino will definitely cause us to not see as much snowfall this year. Now our normal winter snowfall is right around 37.4 inches. Here you go. I believe that this year as a result of El Nino that we are only going to see around 20 to 25 inches of snow, so certainly well below normal.